here next and I'll just show you again how that one's done and then we're gonna uh, go get some dinner so nice semi-dry mix as long as you can crush it in your hand and it holds its shape that's the type of texture you don't want you don't want it too dry or too wet so something which crushes and holds its shape so good shovel full good shovel full there I have been running this to a line I've just taken it off because the big slab got in the way so get it all around about position you want it and then a good little tip then I shall show you shortly put that pretty much where we're looking for then what I do I put my level across the top and then I can see where the top of the tile is going to go to here and I can adjust the cement I need to around about an inch and then that would be enough then for the actual tide itself. So put that going there. Just gonna pick this slab up, it's pre-primed already. You just done that for me. So plump that in position. We'll tap this around about the height we want it to go and the depth. Then we'll grab some of these spacers take four of these put one in there one in there one there one there then what I'll do I'll hit into the corner of the tile and then that move everything nice and tight so I'll leave those in position and I can run my level across no gap at all everything worked out nicely there and then the main thing is, because we're trying to slope the water this way, away from the house, we do have a good fall. So over the length of what we've got so far, we've got just over a centimetre in height. So any water lands on here now, it's going to go away from the house, which is the main thing. But it really is starting to shape now. Every time you finish a slab as well, always push any cement underneath to lock it off tight and then hopefully then by the afternoon we'll have uh, a good section done and uh, a couple of days we should almost have it wrapped up so until then we're going to finish off the coffee <laughs> and then we're going to go to the mountain burger joint in Philly and get ourselves a nice big fat burger <laughs>